This is a new video on my channel, Journey Through Ankle Fusion. Through this channel, I want to just tell my story about what I went through with uh, my left ankle problems and uh, how it became resolved. And I am very, very satisfied today. In fact, uh, the way I walk around, no one can even tell that I have a fused ankle. Uh, and my walk is just like it was years and years ago. In fact, I waited several years to have this done and wish I would have had it done about five years earlier. My son is a physical therapy assistant and he has watched me walk for the last six years and and he said I he was amazed because he he actually did not want me to get my ankle fused he wanted me to go with a total ankle and uh, back in 2013 it, it, it had gotten so bad that I finally decided I needed to go and uh, get an opinion from uh, at least two surgeons uh, the year before that in 2012 I had a shot done and it was guided by uh, I think it's called fluoroscopy or something like that where uh, they use the x-ray machine and he sticks this long needle in your joint and to and they shoot in there some probably some type of cortisone to help relieve um, your problem there well my ankle had been swollen for years uh, I had had problems for years uh, it began back in um, probably my 20s. I'd played sports all through high school, but never sprained my ankle once. And then in church league softball, <laughs> of all things, in church league softball, I sprained my left ankle, and I continued to play on it. It seemed to heal fine. I didn't go to the doctor with it. And then uh, I taught school for over 30 years, and I would play basketball with the kids, and I was a coach of basketball for boys and for girls, and I consistently re-sprained it over the years. All of those different injuries caused it to finally, uh, when I was um, probably in my 50s, for it to actually start growing crooked. Uh, it, my ankle was at a 45 degree angle somewhere around there um, Sometime I'll try to post a picture of that. I think my wife still has a picture of that It was at a 45 degree angle and swollen most of the time. I wore ankle braces um, They seem to help some but back to the shot that I got from uh, the local orthopedic guy in my ankle. It was like a miracle that ankle went down. Uh, I had no swelling. In fact, it went straight. And for a good month to six weeks, it was like I had a normal ankle again. And But that's all it lasted. So I got a hold of him two months after the first shot, and I said, I need another one. He says, no, you can't have another one. Uh, you have to wait three months in between each shot. <clears throat> so... After the third month, I got a shot. It basically did nothing. And he told me that that was possible. He had also told me it was possible that uh, the shots could do a little bit of dam more damage to the joint. So, but I continued just to take ibuprofen and Aleve. And uh, I think he gave me some Celebrex to try to relieve the pain. He actually gave me a cream called Volterin that I tried to relieve the pain with. Nothing seemed to really help. I was in great pain while I taught school, going up and down steps, and being outside with the kids. But uh, the year that I retired, 2013, we decided I better uh, get something done. So in that spring of 2013, I went to one doctor. He wanted to do a total ankle, and I really questioned that because I'd been online looking at things and looking at uh, uh, surgeries, listening to doctors' opinions on things, and 
he, he said that he had done several total ankles. In fact, uh, he had done two total ankles on uh, several uh, people on both ankles. In fact, my son had rehabbed uh, at least one of his patients, maybe even more than one, and one of the patients had had uh, two total ankles done and uh, was an elderly woman and was walking around just great. But uh, I had read where the total ankles only lasted about eight years and a fusion could last a lifetime. A total ankle, uh, you couldn't uh, just lift tremendous weights with it, and, but with a fusion, you could. So before I decided, though, I went to another doctor and um, he was with a teaching hospital at Washington University in St. Louis. I was very impressed with him. He's rated one of the top doctors in the United States for ankles and feet. And, feet. and uh, he was just pretty well willing to, he was actually willing to wait a couple more years. He says, I think you can get two more years out of this ankle. And I said, no, this thing is so painful. I can't stand it anymore. So uh, I went to see him, I think in March and we scheduled the surgery for June. And uh, so, again, uh, the results of that surgery were, were, were great. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of recovery time, and I will get into that in the next video. Thanks for watching.